just uh, make sure you take that opportunity because, you know, I don't know how much he's charging, but it's going to be worth it. You know, the value that we've received so far has allowed us to deploy almost three or four different digital assets with David in just a few months. So for the record, Mr. Hafiz, how much have you and your partner Theo accumulated so far since you started with Party Bus? Uh, well, we had the one come in that was a paid job that just happened on the 29th. That was the first one that was on the schedule uh, that's come up. There's also a booking for May, June, July. There's, you know, when they're coming in, they're booking so far ahead. We weren't getting them caught up with our schedule until just right now. Gratitude to Yasriel, Israel, David. I got instant messages, people flooding in that wanted my services. And I've been booming ever since. Wow. So, uh, 1,500 came in off the party buses. There's three more, four more bookings for about the same size further down the pipeline. And that's the answer to that question. Okay, so 1,500 cash collected so far. And you said yeah. you guys are bumped up for a couple months, so three or four more yeah. around at that same price of 1,500. We'll say around 1,000 to 1,500 or something like that. So, all right, so I just wanted to jump right in with that pause you guys never seen his other testimonials before like hafiz is doing a lot of things and he's a great businessman uh but if you never met him before go ahead and give them a quick 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 introduction so we can get back to the value yes sir uh well in the past few months we've deployed a few assets we've got an affiliate network started a bank asset which is a banking app in the fintech space uh, we're just upgrading that to our next version now that includes a 5G cellular banking app with the banking app. And I wanted to show that to you. I've got a, a, a website up for it. We've got the uh, drop servicing where we've got the limos, party buses in Seattle and Tacoma. We've just started getting our lead flow going. We want to do a little bit more posting to get more leads in and expand it out to some more cities. We've got some offers to go to other cities. Um, okay. There's a few more other things, but those are the highlights. Okay, so that's where it's at. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, they got serious and they're starting to, you know, build some traction and get some money with the party bus rental niche. Uh, if you guys want to start a party bus rental business, you do not have to have your own party bus. Um, uh, Hafiz's and Theo's situation is different. Um, Theo already had uh, actual physical party bus. <laughs> So that's just like, it was like, whoa, okay, so that's perfect. So they was able to just hit the road, Jack. So how long after you put a listing up on um, Thumbtack did like leads actually start coming in, like people reaching out? Thumbtack worked right away. I think the first, uh, we put it up on a Wednesday and by Thursday, Friday, everyone was looking for the weekend. <laughs> hey, um, it... If you go back on my channel, 2015 uh, on up, you'll see that I teach people how to do marketing and advertising. So I teach something called SEO. We dominated something called the snack pack, or a lot of people know it as the Google My Business, well, formerly known as that, but now known as Google Business Profiles. A lot of bad things started happening with that. And I got so deep into uh, SEO and, you know, doing other type of forms of advertising that I forgot all about the, the most simplistic forms of leverage there were. And uh, that is directories and different platforms and partnering platforms that their entire existence is to bring you leads. Okay, guys. So once I uh, gave this to Theo uh, and Hafiz, they put it up on, on Thumbtack and there's a whole bunch of other sites as well, guys. And the leads immediately started coming in. All right. How much did you have to pay up front to get the job? You know, those things are so cheap. You know, we, we put up the app for free, got verified, all that. When the leads started coming in, we could choose which ones we want to pay for. I think they were between 10 and $13. 13 Ooh. was for that one, $13 and 72 cents. That's a good cost for a lead because you get their phone number. It already says they wanted to book for seven hours. That's crazy. Like, the, you know, you got to call them for 13 bucks. You get their number. Then you can call them right there be the first person and say hey here's the price so like i said usually i teach them like you know we we put up the birthday party ads on facebook and everything like that and if you guys check out the old um testimonial with uh coach keith he's now a coach keith um the 140k student 
with party buses, the same niche, guys. Um, he within a couple hours of putting up his party bus ad in his in the city that he was targeting, he got his first sale, and that was around a thousand dollars, right? So you can do it fast multiple ways. But if I had to start over from scratch, guys, I would say to use these different platforms first because their entire job is to is to generate the leads for you. You don't have to be some uh, magical marketer or anything like that. So, all right. I got a very, like, like very, very important question to ask you, Hafiz. All right. So I'm pretty sure these people became other people's leads as well. They probably reached out to a lot of people and were window shopping and price shopping. What do you think it was that got them to choose you guys when you called them to confirm? The one booking that we wanted right away to pay the full amount as soon as possible, we switched it up a little bit and we offered the free vacation that you recommended off the marketing platform. There's this travel incentive platform that David recommended as part of the course. And when you use it, what you can get is restaurant, hotel, savings cards, and free vacations. So because this was a seven hour booking over $1,200, it was $1,500 US. We're like, this is a good, value. we're going to offer them a hotel savings card, a restaurant savings card, and a three day to seven day vacation, depending on the destination they pick where the air was not included and they had to pay the local taxes but we paid for the hotel and we were able to give this away at virtually no cost to us it was literally no cost to us once we were part of the membership we paid for to be a part of this marketing program then we can keep on giving away these incentives so we also said we're going to buy her a bottle i don't know if the bottle made a difference but we threw that in anyways and she was just so excited i guess you know since she didn't pay for the incentives she just wanted to double stamp like that was the best deal once she heard that was the best deal she's like well how much do i gotta pay where do i pay it was like mm. where do i pay it went it went from how do i do it to where do so where do I pay? How do I do it? So where do I pay? And that is the power. This is not rehearsed. Man, Hafiz didn't sit and talk before we press record, guys. That's why I strategically asked him that question because I already knew the answer was the offer. Think about it. You're on a platform. It's the same way as a as a shelf a shelf at a grocery store. All right. I want a soda. Every uh, beverage on that shelf is a soda. What makes me stand out? Oh, it's dark soda. No, that doesn't matter. It's Pepsi, it's Coke, it's Dr. Pepper. What makes me stand out on this shelf? So when it comes to services business, the offer is what can make you stand out. So she was not about to get off the phone and continue window shopping when she had an offer like what Hafiz approached her with. And when you guys get in the copy and paste rentals program, we show you how to construct an offer no matter what type of rental niche you go into to where people won't have to price shop or window shop. You can actually be more expensive than your competitors, but it will make all the sense in the world to the customer or the client. Okay, so have you guys already fulfilled that first customer so far? Yeah. They left an amazing review. It was like a two paragraph review. We wanted wow. to pin that at the top. You're like, you know, we had a great time. We took pictures. We want to come back. Mr. Brown was the best. <laughs> we stopped anywhere we wanted. I wish we would have done it again. We're definitely going to do it again. She said that <laughs> twice. You know what I mean? It was a great review. Yeah. Okay. That's where I said. See, that's the thing. And now you guys are going to get like a, a recurring customer and they should, uh, uh, what you want to do, create a new offer now, create an offer to get their family because his birthday is all over the place, right? We want to, you want to be their go-to party bus solution. Okay. Yeah. So reach back out to them, follow up and like, Hey, I'm happy you enjoyed your time. Um, uh, you know, we'll give 10% off of all your family members or something for the first two years that you guys are working with us. So you're, you're programming it in their head that this is going to be a generational uh, relationship. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. you, you start doing things like that, that way, guess what? The e the, the, uh, the months and the, uh, the years become easier for your party bus rental business because now you're having referrals. It starts with one, right? And they just, they refer the rest of their family members and that's the least them. That's the less amount of, uh, you know, outbound type of advertising efforts that you have to put. Um, so what does Theo think about all of this? I, I got to ask him. But Once she saw the offer change, because we had a bunch of leads come in. We paid for a few leads and the offer wasn't hitting. But like, 
once we put in those incentives and then Cho- Keith, uh, you know, coach chosen, he said, uh, we should offer to buy them a, a birthday bottle. But even yes. though it wasn't this person's birthday, we said, we'll buy them a bottle. And I don't know which incentive it was, but the response was totally different. It was like, oh, okay, where do I pay? Well, that's what you want to do. You want to stack. That's why we call it a, you know, irresistible offer. The first, this first step is to create a bold claim statement or promise. You're going to enjoy your birthday like you never have before. Then you want to offer stack. When you come with us, you're going to receive this, that, this, that, this, that, this. Then you want to do a risk reversal. If you don't have the best birthday ever, we'll give you. 50 percent off your anniversary coming up or something blah 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 whatever you want to do that and, and guess what sometimes uh the offer that you have you might need to add some things to it but you beat them down in a good way until they're like oh well i just have to go with these guys nobody else is even coming close and that's what you guys were able to pull off that's that's where it's at so what are your future plans uh for the party bus rental business like the cities and states you're trying to go out to? Well, you know, a lot of the students that you've, one of your students in Chicago, I don't want to say his name because I mentioned it to you before, but just, I know if he's watching, he knows I'm talking about him. He got so excited about what we were doing with you in Seattle and Tacoma. He offered to set us up in Chicago. We have other people that I've been talking about you to that want to offer us uh, a team. We just have to find an address in the state of Hawaii, but through their family, they already have vehicle. So we have gone through some US and Canadian cities. We have about 16 cities. We want to do a national website like Avis and Hertz, like for national rental uh, set website where they can pick the city, but then there's going to be local websites that have the inventory on them that are SEO optimized. So they're with the, with the city name in the title. So, um, we're just going to get the Seattle and Tacoma really hitting to use it as a model showcase to show everybody else. This is how we're going to deploy it in your city. Like a franchise. But, yeah, but people are lining up already. Um, we wanted to team up with some of the guys that are in Vegas, Atlanta, Orlando, in the, you know, that are also students of yours. So everybody's on the same page. Everybody's doing it the same way. And we'll create a national network of drop service. That sounds like a plan, man. You got a conglomerate going on, man. I woke up some money from my guy, fly guy, David Robinson, right? Talking about how I went through his class. And I made 140000 in 90 days. <laughs> well, I got to tell you what, we never, it's because of you. So we've got an equity stack waiting for you. We wouldn't be moving here without you. And we want you to continue to guide the whole community. So right, no problem, man. Um, matter of fact, speaking of which, man, I sometime this year, we're going, I want you guys to come out to Panama, you know, come out yes. to the jungle where I'm at, you know, I'm going to make it extremely affordable and stuff. It's not going to be one of those Russell Brunson or Myron Golden mastermind type situations yet. Uh, <laughs> but I just, I'm ready to, uh, have a lot of you guys sitting here in front of me it's way easier to help somebody when they're sitting there which kind of like when we used to be in in school you'll sit next to you know a classmate and you can help them on a math assignment is easier than if they called you over the phone and tried to get you to help them it's going to be difficult to explain the equation and do all of that right so i would love to bring some of you guys out here uh you know either here or mexico i'm thinking here though um and and we can really build i want to go over things like like enhancing your partnerships you do real good with that uh you know different points of leverage okay we need to get to the point where we're talking about uh internships and affiliates not just affiliates internships affiliates and strategic joint ventures but we'll we'll get to all of that um but it seems you as if you're already starting to do some of those things with the party bus niche and i really want you guys to zone in because you can turn this not just into six figures a year you can start making at least five figures per month with this right um um if you really zone in on it i don't want you guys to get spread thin for those of you watching this works this works with any niche you know uh, you're you're literally becoming a third party you're you're the new airbnb you're toro you're uh, DoorDash, Uber Eats. You're you're the one that's promoting the service, but then your local business partner they fulfill the service. You see what I'm saying? So it's a perfect marriage, and and you split profits. So 
Uh, this works with any niche. We can do photo booth rent, uh, rental businesses. Uh, you know, we got the limos with the party buses. We used to do the private jet charters, but it's a, it's, it's a huge profit, like gigantic. But is it, a lot of my partnerships went sour. So to build those back up, it'll take some time. So we won't even go into the private private jet charter. But the yacht rental. That's the first one. As soon as you guys get into the program, um, yacht rental business, you guys can start that. And those are huge, huge, ginormous. I know that's not a word. Huge, huge profit margins, right? So uh, <laughs> it's not just party bus, but party bus is one of the easiest ones to get up and running and um, in high demand where it doesn't matter the, the um, uh, you know, the, the class level, you know, it, uh, you know, medium, you know, class, low class, uh, you know, it doesn't matter like their income earnings and, and, and brackets and stuff like that. So anybody can do it. Like on a one to 10 scale, after you guys got everything set up, how difficult was this? Hafiz? Man, every step was easy. I just wish we would have known that as soon as we finished that, tested the offer and changed the offer, it would have worked right away because we would have worked harder to get it done in one or two se <laughs> sessions. You know what I mean? Because we, we were dealing with so much and we were trying to deploy it step by step. But man, like to anybody listening, this shit is not that hard. So if you do <laughs> start working at it, go all the way through it till the end and test your offer. Once you get your offer exactly right, people will be booking. Like, it's not rocket science, so don't give up and don't get distracted with your other businesses. When you're working on setting this thing up, mm -hmm. set it up all the way through so then you can see if it worked or not. Just go mm -hmm. do that. Don't, don't do it part way, a little bit here at a time and build it up slowly. Like, it'll actually work, so finish it as quick as possible. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. See, see this, this is what I'm saying, y'all. Just, just focus. Once you find something that works, just focus. It's a lot of business models. And this is the problem with entrepreneurs. We, the shiny object syndrome is a real thing. It's, it's, it's a real thing. And uh, when you see a person that's in the game for a long time and they haven't made impressive money, it's not because they don't know how. It's usually because they know too much. <laughs> right. And this is why I said I need to get certain people like sitting next to me so I can force them to stop watching webinars. Don't click on the next ad that come up. Ignore the rest of the business. I, it's always going to be another business model. It's always going to be a business model that might make more than what you're doing right now. But guess what? If you stop your progress that you got right now and you go jump to that, you're a beginner over there too. So now you got to build up there. And then guess what? You might get interested in something else while you're doing that. You're never going to get anywhere. So I, I had to break myself out of that because I have multiple businesses as well. I have an agency that I just recently had to put on a back burner. But what I'm doing to try to prevent from having to completely just I'm putting my agency inside my affiliate army. That way they can grow my agency, right? But other people that don't have an affiliate army, you're trying to do multiple things at once and you don't have any help. And that's why you're impeding your growth. All right. So like he said, just it works. Once you have like everything works, e-commerce, all of that stuff, everything works. So once you have something that's proven and you have a guide, just do it, man. Just do it until you don't have to worry about bills anymore. Do it until you don't have to worry about food anymore. Do it until you don't have to worry about checking the price on things anymore. If you have to become a millionaire, uh, uh, delivering food or, 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 um, you know, picking up trash, like waste management, waste management is a billion dollar company. Do you think he dreamed as a kid about being in, in garbage <laughs> industry? No. But once you find something that people will pay for and that works, just do it until you, all your cares are gone. And then you can start going after your passion and experiment with other stuff. So, uh, uh, Javis, tell them a little bit about, uh, okay. So what was the beginning issues that you guys were having with Thumbtack? They might run it. Like, uh, uh, Thumbtack worked right away. I guess it was just our offer because we paid for some leads and they just never responded, you know, but once we changed our offer, the first person was like, Oh, okay. Where do I pay? And then we, okay. you know, and also, with the old offer, we were getting future bookings. There was nobody that was like, because I, I guess I didn't know when they were looking. So I guess we were running into a whole bunch of people 
from the beginning that were booking a few months out that we, we were getting those. But it just happened to be that we changed our offer with one person and she said, oh, okay. And she booked like a couple of days later. And so she That's paid right away. So I don't know, that one made a big impact on me because her, her date was right away and she loved the new offer and she wanted to pay right away and we got money right away. So that one stood out to me as what we have to do all the time. Okay. So I like what you're saying. What I want you to do when we get off here is post the modification that you made of the offer in the private group. Don't say it. Don't say it on here. Not trying okay. to, like, you know, deprive you guys watching, but we're already giving everything on here. We're already telling you guys where our source is and, and all of that stuff. So just post the, what the new modification yeah. offer that you made. We are, He already told you guys that he added a, a, a bottle of wine to to the already existing uh, offer to make it even more irresistible. And a lady was like, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. Like I said, sometimes you just got to beat them upside the head with more stuff. Be like, all right, like what else could they like? Right. What else would they need? So you got the you gave them the partnership for the, you know, the incentives for the vacation, the the food and, and all of that extra stuff. So I'm I'm super grateful that you guys got it together and like put up the thumbtack and and uh, all right. So what other marketing tactics are you about to deploy so you guys can scale this up? Groupon is coming, Facebook ads are coming this week, and then you know, the next week we'll be doing four different event and wedding planning ads so we can branch out into those because the summer is coming up. So we wanted to get into that market. You know what I mean? Dog, listen, I'm super proud of y'all, man, because at first y'all had me a little nervous when he was taking a while to confirm that thumbtack. I'm like, yo, what's taking so long to confirm that thumbtack, man? Y'all had me a little nervous. But once they got it up, man, that's where it is. Um, and I was telling my wife about y'all, man. Like when you sent me that message that y'all got y'all for, like I've been doing this for a long time, y'all, but I still get excited when a student gets results. Like that's something that just never goes away for me. Like it's nothing better than that. And it might be a selfish thing, uh, but it's nothing better than that. And what I mean by that is when, 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 when you can make money, that's cool. Right. When you know how to make money, that's, that's all right. Right. But you you don't really know how good you are unless you can teach someone else to do the things you're good at. And so when when students get results, man, I'm like the biggest freaking cheerleader, <laughs> biggest cheerleader in the world, man, because it's like, ah, OK, now you have the knowledge take care of your family, the knowledge to build. And guess what? These are the frameworks for whatever else you want to do. I always tell you guys, traffic plus irresistible offer equals money. The thumbtack gave you traffic. It gave you traffic. Now when you add your listing, you Google my business. Once you get that right, that's more traffic. Once you get the Facebook ads up, that's more traffic. You get your Groupon, that's even more traffic. Groupon probably will blow it out the water for you. So yeah. now, and you you tweaked your offer. So all that traffic going to that offer, you guys don't have a choice but to to grow and grow. And I and I tell them what you did with the money, man, because they they need to learn. Uh, now, of course, guys, you guys don't have to have. A vehicle. Hafiz didn't have to have a vehicle, but it was it was a coincidence that his friend and partner already had a party bus. Right. So but if he didn't, Hafiz would just follow what the course tells you to do and make partners with the local person people. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Well, we also used your uh, you know tactics on that. We added two limo companies using those tactics. Now we have limos and party buses. And what we spent mm -hmm. with the money was uh, we've been working on getting our second party bus on the road. It's a 24 seater luxury shuttle bus. We had the seats put in and we used the money to get the seats of poster. Now we just have to get the TVs, the flat screen TVs mounted and the bus is on the road as well. Now we also took $500 and set up a funded account that we're offering to other people for $50,000 that we have someone trading for us automatically. And that should generate a profit of about $200 a day off the 50,000 funded account that we only put $500 down yeah okay. so we're gonna use that 200 dollars a day to go into facebook so his money his money is making money for him and that's when you start getting to the point where it's not a struggle anymore guys and that's why i'm just like urging you guys to to when you see something working just just attack that and just keep doing it and doing it because once you get to a certain amount of money you can start making your money 
work for you instead of you. See, right now, if you're watching this, you're working for your money. You're at the point where you need to figure out how to get right. But once you got that part, like it's not too many, not too many moving parts to this finance game, guys. Once you get to making money, now you need to switch your mind. Now is no longer. I got a book that I'm going to uh, write soon. <laughs> it's called Mind. It, anyway, I ain't going to say it out loud because somebody will steal it, man. <laughs> but uh, you, you need to start. You need to switch from using your muscles to make you money to using your mind to make you money. Right. You need to start saying, OK, well, let's say all my expenses is three thousand dollars a month. OK, I got this party bus rental business going up and I'm at around three thousand five hundred a month. All my expenses is three thousand. Right. So I got an extra five hundred every freaking month. Well, guess what? Now, the Bible says that uh, 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 the rich does great labor by gathering riches together, but the poor laboreth and is still a uh, poor laboreth in a poor estate and is still needy. Okay. When you're, when you're, uh, um, in a medium class and you got a job nine to five, so to speak, or even if you're a new entrepreneur and let's say you just out here manually DMing and trying to struggle to get, you're using the poor estate. All right. To try to survive. And even if you get that a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, you're back on the race the next month. Damn, this bird tried to swoop down and get me out. <laughs> You, you're back on it uh, the next month and you still need it after, after you're done paying your bills and all of that. You still need it. But guess what? The rich, they put in a different type of work. He calls it a great work. I'm talking about God. He says it's a great labor and they use that work to gather riches together. So they put money into already income producing assets. So think about it. Then you never have to go back. So I'll give an example. Then we'll, you know, cause I don't want to get too, too off track and preaching and stuff. But let's say, uh, oh, you were like, well, I don't have a lot of money to, uh, uh, buy real estate and, and, and have that asset generating income for me. That's cool. Guess what? I just bought some YouTube channel. They're already monetized. So the rich put great labor into gathering riches together. You can start on any level. OK, start on a small level. The YouTube channels is 85 bucks a piece and they already monetize. That means they're generating 20, 20 to 50 bucks a month already. Now, when I have a VA or one of my kids or somebody go and re-upload all my other content on there, I have another couple income stream networks out there just bringing me easy freaking money. So I'm building this moat of riches around me so that I never fall back into poverty or the poverty mindset. So we just we giving you guys game on here. So the point is, go ahead and get in copy and paste rental. Pick a niche. I suggest party buses. Do it in your city or a city that you you know feel has high demand. Make some money and then invest it into stuff that doesn't require you to move around to earn profit. Okay. And uh, as you can see, Hafiz is doing that. He's taking his money and he's putting it into trading. So. All right. Anything you wanted to say, any words of wisdom or advice, uh, any recommendations you would give them before we ride off into the sunset? And what would you tell them about copy and paste rental? Just uh, make sure you take that opportunity because, you know, I don't know how much he's charging, but it's going to be worth it. You know, the value that we've received so far has allowed us to deploy almost three or four different digital assets with David in just a few months. They're all income producing and he's, you got to start somewhere. So like he said, you don't need party buses to start. He's going to show you how to get partner. So why not go ahead and do that and take it serious and just finish what the recommendations are because they do work. Like I told you earlier, you just have to finish. It's something that's not experimental. This is not an experiment. This is like science. This is tested true recipes and formulas that will print out money for you. You just have to do the work to deploy the solution. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs>
Hey, man, I couldn't have said it better myself, man. Uh, I'm proud of you, man, and I'm pretty sure your parents are proud of you and, you, and you're doing it, man. Just keep going, keep going. Whenever something slow down, tweak it, tweak it, add to it, right? You know what I'm saying? But as you guys add more traffic to, you know, the party bus business, <laughs> it's going to become very, like, very much effortless. That's that. Those are the components, guys. Anybody watching this, if you ever get coaching from me or anybody else is really making money they got fancy ways of putting it but it's really only two things traffic and the offer of course you need to have you know the right type of traffic but you know the better your offer is shoot i've been able to convert extremely cold traffic people that wasn't even in the market just because my offer was so strong that they was like hmm even though i wasn't looking for this uh i might be one day so let me just go ahead and get it now it's like so you really want to zone in if you guys haven't picked up anything on this this session right here pick up the fact that your offer needs to be strong as i don't want to curse read the book the irresistible offer please do read the book the irresistible offer is going to change your life and then if it's a traffic book that i can recommend um it'll be traffic secrets by russell brunson you'll be fully equipped to know how to get traffic if you combine his book with the irresistible offer you'll be fully equipped to make money no matter what your product or service is i, I promise you that all right go ahead and take advantage of the fact that copy and paste rentals is only 97 bucks a month right now you get access to the copy and paste rentals program plus the advanced uh older version of the godfather of drop servicing and you get the private community plus the coaches in there uh and then we have some other stuff coming up soon all right so see you guys in the next one I'm out. But if you have an irresistible offer, you'll be the first thought when they do get Don't even think about it because for $97, there's really nothing to think about. Uh, I just made $950 off of my first deal. So not, what's what's $97 to, you know, $900? Nothing. It validates things. It, it shows that, you know, uh, you know, anybody can make money themselves. The test is, can you help other people make money? Can you teach yeah. other people? Can you help other people, right? So when I see you guys doing good, man, like, so you, you are an inspiration. Another thing I want to say, those books um, that we go over weekly in the in the program is mind opening. Like every every week, each book that I read just opens my mind up to let me know I gotta I gotta move in a certain way to you know unlock that freedom, financial freedom. So What's up? that's a that's another huge plus for the group. I mean, especially for the price, I feel like everyone watching this video should definitely get in. It's not even a thought at this point. All right, so we are back again. You guys saw some of you saw the first halfway interview I did with this brother right here. Um, and the first interview was an attempt just to show you guys how fast you can start getting results in the copy and paste rental community and course. Um, but we have some better news than we had last time. Tell them what happened, man. Yeah. All right. So, um, I got my first book in, uh, it was my first deal for a party bus, uh, 30 seater and, uh, yeah, that's one down many more to go. Exactly. Okay. So how much did you list it for? I uh, listed it for twenty eight fifty. Twenty eight fifty, nice. So what was your profit on that? My profit on that will be about nine hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Appreciate Anybody you. watching this right now? You hear me? So check this out. If you are already in the AJU private community, man, this is what I'm talking about. Because I had a couple of you guys hit me up and be like, yo, I got leads, but they ain't closed. And then I ain't heard nothing else from y'all. I'm like, so what are you doing now? Are you in some other group, some other course or something like that? No, you have to make a decision. You got to decide to like go all in with something. Or are you going to constantly be hopping from niche to niche business model to business model? So the first time we did this interview with uh, Shaquem here, uh, if you guys don't know his name, it's Shaquem. Uh, first time we did the interview, he got a lead. The lead was for how much? What, 1500 1500 yep. And he didn't close that one. What happened with that one? That one, uh, the customer wasn't prepared to spend that much. They said they had about 700 for the budget. So we just couldn't make it work. Okay. And how, uh, and your partner is, 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 uh, flexible pause. They're flexible with the prices with you, right? Actually, no, they're not, uh, they're not? <laughs> they, not yet. Not yet. I had a couple partners tell me, you know, once, once you bring a couple over, then we can work with you on price. So, okay, cool. Cool. Yeah.
Okay, so the good thing about this, y'all, is okay. How did how did you get the lead? I'm gonna let him talk. How how did you get the lead? So I got the lead on Thumbtack, and that lead actually came in about a week after I set up my Thumbtack. Mm -hmm. I think it was about my third or fourth lead, and I talked to the lady. She told me um, everything that she had planned for that day. I gave her the irresistible offer, and uh, she said she'll get back to me. And two weeks went by, I didn't hear anything, and then she randomly called me. Uh, a couple days ago and said hey i want to go ahead and move forward with it and book <laughs> and got her booked <laughs> that's what i'm talking about like listen y'all like um in the, it's, a lot of people are window shoppers you know what i'm saying sometimes yeah. they ain't got it right then and there but if you have an irresistible <laughs> offer you'll be the first thought when they do get it i've done that a lot of times if you check my bookmarks uh, uh like on my web uh, on, on my computer like i got hella stuff bookmarked stuff probably from like when i first got this computer that i forgot about where i'm like you know what I'm gonna come back and get that when I got some time to work on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I got music softwares and stuff because I'm I still try to do music sometimes, but I, I'm not good at making beats. So it's certain like commercials I see for beat making, mm -hmm. and I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna get that. But right now I'm working on uh, uh, the school, so I'll come back to that later. So like my point is. Like if it's nowhere near their birthday or the, you know, a lot of people are just scoping out stuff that they're going to do. So as long as you make that connection with them, just because you ain't make the collection of the payment that day doesn't mean that is is all over. This lady hits you back and pay. Come on, man. Yep. So, so once again, how much was the first lead for? 1500 Okay. You didn't get that one. Now let's fast forward. How much was this yeah. second quote for? two thousand eight hundred fifty dollars and you profited how much nine hundred fifty dollars and how much hard work did you have to do to get that lead or sale <laughs> it was just a thumb uh a thumb type listen come on man and the leads are coming in the leads just come in daily come on this is what i'm trying to say y'all like come on listen i i i, I i'm used to teaching people seo which takes yeah. time i'm used to teaching people ads i'm used to teaching people all these different uh uh very you know strategic methods of marketing advertising and and lead conversion and stuff using these platforms in the way that they're supposed to be used guys that can cut like cut the work down like almost non-existent technically he can get someone now uh 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 that work on a um performance base you put up a you can put a zip group zip recruiter right now and you can just have people reply to the leads and they can close them for you now like the, if you guys don't understand thumbtack is a platform that does lead generation for a service provider so and they're worth billions this is what they do so this is why hey you see how i be stressing this king you know like when people yeah. get in there i i like yo please i'm there begging them just put up your thumbtack put up your thumbtack right so yes. you gotta find a partner and he said uh the good thing you said was like yo they said yo once you start bringing me some people and then i'll be a little bit flexible that's cool sometimes it'd be like that y'all but also yes. do whatever you gotta do to get a good partner if you gotta go to a different city a different state uh, uh you know a different freaking country i don't it doesn't matter like a lot of people she came they'll, they'll call a couple people or they'll message a couple people and be like ah oh, man i couldn't get a partner and i'm like it's 50 something states now how, how are you done you're not done you know yeah. so but yeah man so go ahead and uh, give them a little bit uh uh insight on your experience in the community so far so so far in the community it's been great it's been um everyone is willing to help you know even in uh in the facebook community i was able to reach out to a couple of students and that were ahead of me and they like willingly gave me info gave me little tips and tricks uh how to uh you know speak to certain leads so uh all the info in the course and the community is just great it really tells you step by step uh how to do it and yeah that that thumbtack is really the most important thing i definitely see why you stress it so much because it's it just, it just gives you leads like on a daily basis so yeah that is that is a good first step to get easy leads but so like if i if, if i don't even know if it was around it might have been but i didn't know anything about thumbtack back when i had limo service champ back when i had yeah. my limo company like dog i was just doing everything from scratch seo and all of that and i still killed killed it and flipped that you know entity right if thumbtack was a, 
or if I knew, if I was aware of Thumbtack back then, man, like, y'all don't understand watching this right now. By tomorrow morning, you can have leads in your inbox, right? Like, by tomorrow morning. And if you know how to construct the irresistible offer, how we teach you to, then it's pretty much candy from a baby. You're only, you're, you're only going to have to go through so many leads before somebody, like, says, oh, hell yeah, right? I got to do that. And you... Okay, so how did how did uh how much did they charge you for the lead? Uh, for that lead, I think they charged me like like eleven fifty or something like eleven dollars, pretty much eleven twelve dollars. Come on, well man. worth it for uh, on, for twenty eight fifty booking. <laughs> Come on, man. This reminds me of Keith, Coach Keith, right? Uh, yeah, that's the you know one hundred and forty k in ninety days party bus student. Um, if you don't turn that off. But anyway, so like he put up the ad, he put up a Facebook ad. Like I said, back then I wasn't like on the thumbtack, you know, situation. Uh, he put up a Facebook ad in like six hours. I think he only spent $17 and yeah. that's why he stayed in that niche for all them years before he got, you know, back into his day trading thing, like $17. Th that's how powerful the irresistible offer is. Right? So how many people put up irresistible offers on thumbtack in your area? Like, have you looked Zero. at the business? <laughs> yeah, I, I looked at all of them. No, nobody has offered anywhere near my irresistible <laughs> offer. So yeah, in that in that aspect, the market is wide open. And a lot of people, I, I still get uh, messages and people are like, "Yo, is the party bus niche still open?" Check this out. Anybody watching this from YouTube or anywhere else, every niche is open. Okay, um, stop putting yourself on the shelf. You want to sell more sodas? Don't. Place yourself next to Dr. Pepper. Don't place yourself next to Pepe. Don't uh, Pepsi. Don't place yourself next to Sprite. Right? You need to have your own setup in the store. You need to have your own little kiosk or something like that. Like that's what the irresistible offer does for you. He said in his area with the party buses, nobody is putting up an offer like what we've been doing. So that makes it to where, okay, it appears as if you're on a shelf. Like, okay, party bus, party bus, party bus, hold on. But then the light shines in the grocery store and they see this whole <laughs> section for this one product. And it's like, dog, if I get this one soda, I get three bags of chips with it. You know, uh, I, I get $50 to go to the casino with it, some scratch offs. I get, you know, all of this extra stuff. So if you stand out when you create the irresistible offer. So my point is no niche is saturated if you create an irresistible offer when you blend in and look like everybody else yeah you gotta struggle yeah you gotta be thirsty when the league when you get on there with a lead like yo 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 you should get with us we have the cheapest prices in town no 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 no, 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 no. how much um in your area how much were the other people charging like do you remember seeing their prices um yeah so it's kind of like within a price range of like uh 200 to 250 dollars per hour okay so that's around the range okay uh and the average block a person will be on is like uh like a four or five hour block right how many how many hours did your people request they needed it for six hours come on man do, do y'all yeah. see so we get to charge either the same or more than all the rest of the people <laughs> but the irresistible offer makes it to where even though they got those cheaper options they're like but yeah i can save a couple dollars kind maybe not because i still need to go to the restaurant for whatever mm -hmm. the occasion is i still need a hotel i still probably need a rental car still want to go out and do certain things and stuff so if you create an irresistible offers that are all inclusive for whatever you like you're projecting the experience that they might be desiring or whatever like is 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 anyway so <laughs> i'll be trying to tell people shakim like uh, uh, uh people like right now it's, it's gonna be people watching this and they're gonna say okay uh well but how do i know it will work for me i'm like dog okay the bible says let all your ways be established that means proven that means don't mm -hmm. reinvent the wheel that means once you see something that works you do it and you put your span on it so okay is it saturated no it's all different types of transportation. Okay. You got all, okay. Somebody invented a restaurant. They could have just stopped right there. Other people could say, oh man, there's already a restaurant out there. <sighs> I was going to come up with a restaurant idea, but I can't do it now. No, they said, okay, they got a burger place. 
I'll do tacos. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. They did tacos. I'll do a steakhouse. Oh, they did Italian. Then they did Mediterranean. Oh, vegan, keto restaurants, blah, blah, blah. You take what works and you put your spin on it. And when you put the irresistible offer on it, it makes it to where it doesn't matter if they got on their, their site, been in business since 1842. None of that matters to the customer. What matters is the offer, right? Yeah. Okay, so do you have any plans for uh, uh, like a, any different niches or anything? Yeah, um, I, I'm looking to get into the yacht industry and yeah. um, start drop servicing uh, yacht trips. And um, I'm, I'm also also have plans to you know start automating my systems because the leads are coming in now from you know different platforms. So uh, I think I feel like once I get a couple more, I can uh, maybe like hire a VA and yeah. get it automated so I can branch off to different. To different fields different industries and sure. uh, also another thing i wanted to say those books um that we go over weekly in the in the program is mind opening like every every week each book that i read just opens my mind up to let me know i gotta i gotta move in a certain way to you know unlock that freedom financial freedom so for sure. that's a that's another huge plus for the group i mean especially for the price i feel like everyone watching this video should definitely get in it's not even a, a thought at this point you understand what i'm saying like yo People will like, you know, they don't understand, man. Like, okay, um, uh, pride comes before the fall. So I, I try to stay as humble as I possibly can. This is why I usually start the video off talking about what my students did instead of me. Yo, I've, I've made 20K in an hour before. I've done different things that I can pass off to people. You understand? That's what God brings us through things for. So we can turn around, find our people and show them the, the exact same thing. So sometimes people will watch the videos that came and they'll see 97 bucks. They'll go, I don't have a landing page on purpose. Mm -hmm. You notice it just goes straight to PayPal. We show you enough on this channel and it's a working real business model. You've seen party buses drive past you on the street, right? So I don't feel like I need to do all of this on this channel and get a landing page and do more selling just to cure insecurities or skepticisms. That is something that's within God. If you see something that works and is currently working and it makes sense, it's not about me. It's not about me. I've seen plenty of people that never done stuff themselves teach something that works and the people still get results. So whether or not you like me, it doesn't stop the business model from working. So Shaquem, they'll hit you up and they'll be like, yo, man, is this $97 one time or is this $97 a month? They'll tell them it's $97 a month and they'll panic. And I'm like, y'all don't understand. What happens on Mondays? Mondays is the, um, you drop, you drop a new, uh, a new course in the program. Come on, man. These are courses Which that I, crazy. so, so <laughs> if you think that I'm all about money, I need y'all to be on this, go on this channel. I've been here since 2015. Every course that I drop on Mondays inside that pro, inside that group, I've sold for $2,000, $5,000. People that are paying $97 a month are getting a new course that's dropped in there that, with working business models as well every Monday, every yeah. Monday. Because I got like, I've been doing this since the end of 2014. So I, I have real estate programs, all different types of stuff. And I've always done things differently from my peers on YouTube, a more yes. simplified version, because I've always been at a disadvantage. Credit wasn't good, didn't have credit cards for advertising, didn't have networks. So everything I teach, whether it's the real estate or no matter what it is, is always a more simplified version uh, designed to like expedite the process and get rid of the hurdles that you would typically have to do with the uh, original business model, for example. And I always try to go high ticket, Shaquem. So we have mm -hmm. one that I'm about to drop Monday is local drop shipping, right? Or local e-commerce. So a lot of these dudes yeah. teach all this, oh, I'm going to go on this Chinese website and sell baby bottles on this other Shopify site and bull crap like that. Well, we teach you to drop ship cars, same day delivery, different stuff like that, like locally, you understand? Like, so this is what you guys get in there. And we go live, like he was talking about. Uh, we do mm -hmm. the book readings. We have Thursday mind transfer. So that's my favorite part. I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, yeah, yeah, same here, same part. here. Yeah, cause dude, like, is 
it took me all these years to like even find these books and stuff. If if somebody would have just said, "Here, just stop, stop buying everything, stop being on all these webinars, read this set of books." I don't know <laughs> where. I, real talk, I don't know where I would be. Books are freaking powerful. If y'all don't think so, they they are extremely powerful. Um, okay, but anyway, so you have plans of getting into the yacht uh, rental niche. What is appealing or attractive? about that niche so uh the first thing is the margins of course you know it, um to have a higher reward and then also uh i'm about an hour and 30 minutes from uh a beach so um and there are lots of boats out there lots of yachts so when i see that i just see opportunity For and sure. you know from what i'm learning on, on how to do this business from the party bus aspect i can easily transition over apply the same rules to yacht and uh these my margins. For sure. Uh, in case y'all yeah. don't know, like I haven't done this in a few years and I only done a couple years if I'm being, uh, uh, a couple years. I only did a couple deals if I'm being honest. I never went too, 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 too deep into the yachts. Um, but you can book, okay, for a weekend, it could be $18,000 just for a weekend. These are completely different. This is a whole different world if I'm, if I'm just being honest with you guys, right? So we do the party buses. The reason why I stopped with the uh, the yachts is because uh, where I was doing the SEO at, it was like super competitive. And the, mainly the leads I was getting was from paid traffic. And I ain't mm -hmm. feel like dealing with it because it was way easier for me to get even bigger margins with the private jet charter. So I was doing the private jet okay. charters, you know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, but a couple yacht rental deals, my whole goal was for people to be able to uh, um, get a sale or two and cover their monthly expense because it's difficult for you to get a lot of sales. A lot of people don't understand how difficult if you're inexperienced sales is difficult because you think you're supposed to sell when you're not supposed to sell. You're supposed to make people feel comfortable with a decision that they already made for themselves. That's good for them. That's what real sales is. Um, so since most people don't know that and they're very pitchy and, and don't know that they're supposed to take people away from pain or towards pleasure. And that if somebody is brand new and they don't know you yet, if you're trying to take them towards pleasure, they're going to be more skeptical. So when you first meet a person, you want to take them away from pain. That's why you want to know mm -hmm. pain points and all of that stuff. But see, when you have the irresistible offer and you combine that with high ticket services or products, then you only need to get, even if you're a horrible salesperson, you only need a couple sales per month to cover all of your freaking monthly expenses. So yep. yes, I strongly suggest um, you branch off into more cities, right? If you want to scale up, that's why it's so awesome to do these things virtually, because technically if you want to scale, all you have to do is the same thing in another city online. Go on Thumbtack, create a listing in another city or create a different Thumbtack account or have a friend create a different Thumbtack account in a different city and you split the profits with that person. You can literally scale to six different towns over freaking night if you wanted to. See, so like, you, you understand? So, yep. so I'm happy that you uh, want to go get into the yacht rentals. It's, a, it's an awesome niche now, especially now that I know more about platforms and stuff. Cause back in the day, like I said, I was just doing SEO and ads and stuff. And it was like, yo, that's super competitive in Miami. So let's just do this yacht, uh, this, this private jet rental. Um, okay. So let me ask this. Um, how many different business models have you tried before you ran into this situation? Um, just like in general, like in, in life. Yeah. 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 I've tried a lot of different <laughs> business models. I'm, I'm like a serial entrepreneur. So I've been, you know, running businesses for like the last eight or nine years. And, yeah, uh, I tried right. a lot, I tried a lot of stuff. I used to flip cars. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I used to, I used to actually buy cars and rent them out. And I realized yeah. how stressful that was. So it now is. drop servicing and being on the remote side of it. Yeah. It's just the best because I don't have to, to deal, I don't have to worry about dealing with the vehicles, maintenance, any of that. I'm just, you know, marketing and making the money in the middle. For sure. See, yeah, and that's the difference, man. Like when you do everything virtually is, is barely any overhead besides uh lead cost or any type of like different software that, or something that you have to do or something. Like you said, you don't have to. You ain't got to get dressed if you don't want to. I mean, look at me. I ain't even got the whole shirt yeah. on, right? You know, like <laughs> exactly, right? I'm in a whole different country, right? 
most business models don't allow that. And that's why I tell a person, oh, this person got a raise at this company or he, he makes $50 an hour or this person does this. I'm like, but they can't leave, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. They can't go nowhere, though, you know. So this will allow you, you know, uh, and, and if you decide you want to do other uh, business models or something, it, virtual business models allow you to be able to do that stuff from anywhere. You know, uh, I, I, I was doing it in Mexico now i'm here you know so uh um, yeah yeah and um i do this uh so i i actually do this uh on the government uh, uh side too because I, I do government contracting and yeah. i'm pretty much job servicing for the government also nice. so that's why i was uh definitely attracted to this industry when, when i saw you doing it from a different angle that wasn't government i was like oh that that makes a lot of sense and it's you know right on my alley so uh it, it's a it's a good like same different industry for sure. Different For sure. department, yeah. Um, yeah. I suggest if you didn't already take the profits and do something with it, uh, reinvest. Now all you ain't got to reinvest all of it. You can use a little bit of it as a pat on the back, you know. <laughs> you know it works now. So like it's nothing, you know. I would put um maybe two to three, if you still have it, two to three of that into the uh Facebook ad. Okay. Okay. Or even better into partnerships i'm about to say something publicly because i don't like to hold anything back what i mean by putting two or three of it into partnerships is simply contacting limo companies in the city that you're advertising in your service companies that only have limos but don't have a party bus because now you can create a mutually beneficial relationship right so when they getting leads that's coming in for bachelor parties and stuff i much rather be on a party bus for my bachelor party than a stretch limo. I much rather be on a party bus for my birthday than in a pink stretch Hummer. Like I just do. And most people feel that same way. So when people go to their sites for their birthdays and stuff, sometimes they don't see the party bus option. It would be good for them to have that option as an extra income stream that they don't even have to do the work for. Now they're drop servicing you, right? So all, yeah. all you need to do is you take the 300 if you decide you don't want to do the facebook ads i would like yo let me pay you uh 50 bucks <laughs> 50 or 100 bucks you only really need two partners right here yeah. create a page on your site or a button on your site that leads to my party bus site and whoever comes from your site uh from that page that you created for me uh i will give you a percentage of what we book from that very simple. It only take them or their developer five, 10 minutes to create a page or a link going to you. Very yeah. damn simple. Like anybody watching this right now can do that. You can go and email them like, yo, I got a party bus company. I want to send you limo leads and I want you to send me party bus leads. All you have to do is make a little button at the top that says, hey, go here for party bus. <laughs> That's it. So that's free leads. So if you go to the top ranking people in your city, they're getting traffic already. So you can start experiencing these free leads coming in within the next 48 hours, kind of like Thumbtack. They're already yeah. getting traffic and visitors on their sites if they're ranking at the top of Google, not to mention they might be running Facebook ads. We never know. So whoever goes to their site, you're piggybacking or lambacking, you're hijacking, you know, the traffic. You're just being another option. And is something they don't have to they don't have to do the work no overhead no staff training no no nothing they literally get a piece of the action just by creating an extra page for you so yeah. that's what i would do because then those sure. are lead, those are leads that you don't have to pay for so let's recap how much did they charge you for that last successful booking how much did they charge that lead for eleven dollars and how much did you profit nine hundred and fifty dollars so on his thumbtack listing or i, I don't know, maybe on the call or something you guys settled for 2800 with the lady right yep he was able to pull nine hundred dollars from that how long were you on the phone with her would you say i was on the phone with her for about maybe five to ten minutes she paid over the phone smooth transaction <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all, if I'm watching this from YouTube right now, then I would be getting in. I would go into that pen comment and I'll be getting inside that copy and paste rental course. If I'm watching this from the group, then I would stop being a freaking baby just because the first couple leads didn't convert. I would figure out what I'm going to do with my partners. I told y'all before, start with the partners. If they ain't working in the city that you're in, fine. F that city. No offense to the people there, but F that. Go to a different city. 
Find a new partner. Like I said, play around. Go to Illinois. Go to freaking Mississippi. Go to a town where they're they're probably going to let you, you know, hey, we do 400 bucks, 500 bucks. Now you got a huge margin. All right, cool. So I can do $1,400 for this and just pass him 400 bucks, 500 bucks. Get your partners right. And then you simply put your thumbtack game on and make sure you put your irresistible, always lead with your irresistible offer. But you want to make sure you have justification for why that offer is so good to be true. Okay. <sighs> okay. So, man, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you, man, because I know it seems like, okay, well, it's still fresh. It's, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people watching this right now have bought into courses and programs, got their first rejection. And then that was all you heard from them. So the yeah. fact that I'm, I, I went in that group, I saw that post that he just got his first book. And like, listen, I was more excited for you than I do when I get sales. Like that, that that's what, like, I remember when, when I, you know, I still buy programs and coaching and all that stuff. But I remember thinking to myself, BS, when the coaches and stuff used to say, it's, it's it, you know, Money doesn't mean that much to me. It's about you guys and success. I'm like, get the yeah. <laughs> well, how come it's not free then? How come it's not free? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But I, I get it now. Like, dog, I ran and told my wife when you got when I saw that post. Like, is it's something that you, I don't know because it validates things. It, it shows that you know, uh, you know, anybody can make money themselves. The test is, can you help other people make money? Can you teach yes. other people? Can you help other people? Right. So when I see you guys doing good, man, like, so you are, you are an inspiration. I'm waiting for Chris to get his, like he was one of the first ones in the group to post that he got a lead. And I, you know, I haven't heard nothing back since then. Chris, what's up, man? Uh, <laughs> but y'all got to keep going, man. Keep going. Like tweak the offer. Tweak the prices, tweak the freaking city, do whatever you got to do. Cause you, it, it works. And once it's set up, y'all like, come on. So what would you recommend to anybody watching this right now? That's looking for a business. <clears throat> I recommend definitely join the group, join the community. Don't even think about it. Cause the, for $97 is really nothing to think about. Oh, uh, I just made 950 off of my first deal. So not what's, what's $97 to you know, nine hundred dollars, nothing. Come on, come on, man, come on. Let the risk know. versus reward is incredible. And then, I mean, you don't have to be a genius for this, right? Then we give you guys a party bus site, but he ain't. I don't even think you had to use your site yet, have you? Not yet. I haven't had to use it. It's 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 set up, but some packages feed and meet them lead. So I'm, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, okay. so when you get in, we get we'll transfer a party bus site to you. That's mainly just for. <laughs> decorations but when you get your seo going and it start ranking and everything in google then it'll start bringing in some leads but to tell you the truth i really preach just get in there make your partnership put up your thumbtack and then just let it let it do its work um okay so um just keep going shakim man like you you, you yes sir you're an inspiration man for real for real Appreciate not just that. to them but to me because i've had that shiny object syndrome too man you know, mm -hmm. everybody, every entrepreneur went through it. So to be able to fight through that, it takes strong will. So congratulations on, on that and congratulations on your success. If you have any questions and stuff like that, you just DM me, man. Um, hey, you guys, go ahead and get in the game. Uh, soon, Shakim is going to be a coach. So keep going with this, man. All right. Yes, sir. Got you. I appreciate you.